Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tisa, so great to have everyone here. And I am here right now, I'm looking right here into fire signs, Aries, Leos, and Sagittarius. We're gonna be looking into April the 2nd, April the 3rd, it's 2024. Now everything that you need to know about me, it is right down below and it is my description box. And I thank you right now for all of your love and your support. So let's see what kind of message we're gonna get right now for you. And this energy check right here. Okay, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let me put this down here. Happy birthday to all the Aries that's out there. I really do hope that you all enjoy your birthday season. Let's see, we have an energy check right here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, April 2nd and the 3rd is 2024, please. For Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, we have the Hierophant front right here. Okay, so this could be religion. I heard right away Freemason. I'm not sure this is all that, but it could be for somebody here. <clears throat> the house front could be religion. It could be some type of, um, you know, uh, traditional value right here. Some type of way. It could be the cults or anything like that. It could be, okay. But, it, you know, the house front could just simply be a, a marriage or maybe it's a tourist. What's the message here, please? The food card is reversed. Hmm. So the full car reverse is not taking any action, not moving forward in some way. It could be an Aries right here or a Taurus, you get me? Okay. <clears throat> what is the message here, please? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Okay, we have right here the world card. Okay, so I feel like some um tradition that you was doing is over. Um, this could be religion, this could be a marriage, it could be so many different wide range of things it could be, but I feel like something here is over with the world card, some cycle has completed about that. Could be a marriage, religion. Okay. Yeah, page of cups of herbs. Okay. So yeah. I feel like if somebody's hesitant and stagnant in any kind of way, I feel like the cycle is complete. Because they were stagnating with the, the full card reverse. The stagnation is hesitancy right here. Yeah, they're defeated. Five of Swords right here. Okay, so somebody's defeated right here. About religion or marriage or whatever. Okay, I kind of feel. All right, this even could be somebody's proposing something to you. Maybe somebody here is proposing something to you. I feel like that you might feel like it's a shallow victory. So maybe you're hesitant to do something right here that they're proposing to you in some way. Could be the case too here. Yeah. Yeah, because I feel like somebody's looking at it, okay? And when somebody look at something right here, I feel, I feel like they, you know, they kind of feel like it's a shadow victory or something like that, I feel. They're hesitant and they're stagnant and then the cycle's complete then it's going to complete on somebody here in some way. Yeah, this is about love and a relationship for some people here. So I feel like, you know, yeah, you know, somebody's stagnant, they're hesitant, I feel. You know, since they're stagnant and hesitant for whatever the reason is, okay, I feel like some cycle is going to complete one of them because they're stagnant and because they're hesitant. Now, um, April the 8th, we do have that solar eclipse, so we just had a lunar eclipse. So something is eclipsed out. Somebody's stagnant, they're hesitant. So I feel like it's going to be eclipsed out in that. So get in here. Okay. I just feel like the energy is too stagnated. It's too hesitant or something like that. Okay, what's the high front? Yeah, the devil. Or well, somebody really thinks some toxic way about something right here, okay? Could be the case. Okay, so if this is if this is religion with the high front and the devil, okay, somebody feels defeated or they feel like it's a shallow victory right here because I feel like somebody could really think some type of way about religion for some people, all right? Or whatever, whatever this is about, occults, whatever. Okay, somebody could feel some type of way about it with the devil card. I feel like you know it's um, clashing. I feel like it's clashing here. Okay, <clears throat> that's one way. You know, another thing this could be right here with the devil in the house form. This also could be right here that um, somebody here was trying to have this one right here. See this one? See how they got the um, the hand, the head, right? And they were trying to have somebody attached in some way, I feel. Okay, I feel like they could be defeated because they're married with the power of right here. Or they could be defeated because some type of religion or something like that. 
or the tradition, how far could be the traditional way somebody thinks right here, they can have somebody stuck in some way, they're defeated that way, or get a sense or something like that could be the case too. So whoever it is, they have anxiety now, Phil. Yeah, they have anxiety right here, Phil. Somebody's defeated about religion or whatever else. Or somebody said that you was the devil or whatever like that. Could have been the case. Maybe somebody said that you was the devil or whatever they could have said. <laughs> they defeated them. Right? Or something like that. Yeah, y'all. Do you feel like somebody was attacking somebody right here? Could be about religion for some people right here. They was attacking them, I feel, with their words. I feel like, you know. So they attacked somebody right here with their words in some way. You know, I feel like, you know, yeah, they did. <laughs> They really did, I feel. Not a one for here. I feel like somebody here is like, um, I don't know. Look at the nine of wands here. It's like, I still want you though, right? Or I can, mm, this is crazy. I'm getting like, I can attack you, but you're not supposed to go anywhere. You're supposed to stay here and take it or something like that. They could be very abusive, I feel. And this feel like verbally with a knight of swords. And it feels like it's about religion or something about the devil or whatever. Okay. Um, it's that kind of feel. Now, for others of you right here, right? Somebody, the higher font, somebody has higher wisdom and knowledge that somebody's abusive in some way, I feel. I said that before in that um, Let's Collect the View video. And I'll put the link down below. But for some people here, somebody's abusive, I feel. This one right here, see how they got the bandage on here? It's like, you're going to stay over here no matter what. Something like that. So I feel like somebody here is very abusive, I feel. Okay, in a merge for some people here or in religion or whatever else. I feel like somebody feel like they don't care what they say to you or do to you. You're supposed to still stay here. Something like that. No matter what. Something like that, I feel right here. Yeah, yeah. It's magic and everything right here. The magician and the devil. They could do the black magic and everything like that. They could attack somebody right here through magic. Okay. I feel. Just feel like Ouija boards or something like that. Okay, like the dark arts, Goisha. I feel like absolutely right here. Okay. They was defeated about something, so they did black magic on somebody, I feel. Because they was defeated about religion or what they were saying about the devil or whatever else could have been, right? Or the devil made them do it. Something like that could have been it, right? I don't know. But that's what I'm getting. Something like that. They defeated right here. It's a shallow victory right here. For some of you, it's a shallow victory doing a black magic spell because you have higher wisdom and knowledge with the higher form. You even know they did it. This period. Right? Well, they did black magic on somebody right here and they wasn't into something here as far as religion. Somebody knows that. Okay? I feel like this person is so abusive. They're like, I don't care what I said, what I did, you're going to stay here. Something like that. They're abusive, I feel. You know, I feel like somebody here is defeated about the future, okay, in some way. Because either there's a stalemate because of religion, or because they're married, or this is somebody you're married to, or something like that. It, the way that it goes, though, is karma. Something here is karma. You know? It's karma, some type of way. It's a cause and effect for something here, some type of way. Whether it's religion, the black magic, or abusing somebody, or whatever. Or being stagnated right here to even be in a relationship. Maybe somebody was stagnating to be in a relationship with you. It's a cause and effect right here. They defeated them. Because they were stagnating somewhere. I'm getting right here. There's a full card reverse right here. The Knight of Cups. Yeah, two, that's what I'm getting here. Two of Swords. They was avoiding something or being a stalemate right here. Or avoiding a relationship. They was very stagnant with the full reverse and the two of swords. They're stagnating right here and hesitant to be in a relationship and it's a cause and effect for it. I feel like when somebody finds themselves at a fork in a row, yes, no, wrong, or right, it's a cause and effect for whatever choice they mean. It's karma right there. It's karma right there at the fork in a row. Okay. Yeah, tower. It was a tower. It was a revelation. Somebody's intuition went off and everything like that. I get a sense right here. Somebody knows they're stagnant right here. They know they're hesitant right here. All right. It even could be all these things come at once. Maybe somebody knows, oh, that's what was happening with black magic. Oh, this, this person is um stagnating. You know, it's like so much could be revealed in this one second right here. When they find themselves in a fork in the road. Yes, no, wrong, or right. Whatever choice they made is a big tower. 
Somebody realizes they're stagnating. Somebody realizes something here about religion. Somebody realizes they're doing a black magic spell and everything like that. It's like it all comes out. I'm getting right here. It's right here. It all comes out, I feel. So, you know, when it's stagnating like that, it, it all came out, I feel. Well, it all is going to come out and get right here. Somebody's intuitive. I feel like somebody realizes right here the tower and the high priestess. After all this black magic somebody was doing, dang, you're intuitive. It hits them. <laughs> it hits them right here. The tower right here and the high priestess. Like, boom, you're intuitive. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know they stagnating. You know they're stalemates. You know something about religion, black magic. I feel like they know you know all of it. I feel like it hit them right now. You're intuitive. You know about the black magic. You know about everything. <laughs> Okay, for some people here, I'm getting the world right here in the seven of pentacles. I feel like with this tower, it really makes somebody realize this right here. That you're intuitive, that you know about black magic, that you know about so much. I'm getting right here, okay? Four of pentacles right here. Yeah. I feel like it hits them. Why you are holding back from something right here? Why you're a stalemate? Because it's mirrored. They're a stalemate, so are you. What's the world part right here? And the seven of pentacles. Yeah. Somebody realizes this right here, it's gonna take plenty of courage right here, okay? Or efforts right here to receive somebody's money or something like that, okay? Something here could be a big revelation right now about a Leo, Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini, or Taurus, or Libra, Aries. Yeah. Ten of Cups right here. So I'm cycle completed with something right here, I feel. Somebody stagnating and just made everything be revealed, I feel. It's time to move on, I feel. But putting the hard work to be a focus or whatever, because I just feel like right here, Somebody's intuitive tower. They're intuitive. They know everything. They know that they, they know they're doing black magic. Somebody here in intuition, it comes like boom with the tower right here. Somebody has to stagnate. They became intuitive. Dang, they know all this. Something that like they know about it. For people here, okay. Page of cups for right here, and that two of cups right here. I feel like somebody not they're not sending love messages anymore, or they're not accepting love messages from somebody. It could be somebody never apologized to you. Tower, you intuitive. You knew that. Something like that. <laughs> yeah. Three of Pentacles right here. Maybe somebody knows it's a third party. That's another thing. I'm getting like all the layers of the onion, they flipped out. I'm getting right here. As soon as somebody was stagnant. When they, once they were stagnant and everything else is revealed, I'm getting right here. They could know it's a third party. They could know something about a pregnancy. They could know about all of it. Okay. I'm just getting like know about all of it. I'm getting right here. Yeah, they came out to talk about it. Just period. They came out to talk about pregnancy. They came out to talk about third party. They came out to talk about what happened at night, some sickness or whatever, some black magic spell, why somebody was stagnating. It all is revealed. Boom. That's what I got right here. Okay. I'm going to end it right there. Thank you so much. I send you all peace, blessings, love, and lights. Okay. Namaste to you.